I'm not sure if this is how the Independence Day movie started or not, but ladies and gentlemen, we got some crazy stuff, okay? There was a UFO around the moon area that I will link you at the end as well. Leaked image of an F-22 Raptor under a project blue beam. Directed by Norad taking out one of the UFO aliens today. Oh shit! Oh, Another shit. UFO is being shot down over Yukon, Canada by an F-15. And this video is definitely going viral. And I do think it's genuine. But again, we gotta play with the possibility of, hey man, this might be Capity Cab. This this could be just for the internet, for the Twitter cloud, for the Twitter coins. Uh, for the, uh, But I've seen the reaction and it seems genuine so this is the, the fighter jet they fired the rocket at the ufo and uh, it's the night sky so this is why this is why we're seeing it burning down and whatnot it seems genuine because i've heard the reaction got a lot of effort so i cannot play that on youtube that's welcome to youtube guys and uh, welcome on the second channel this uh, channel is all about ufo and ghost and paranormal videos if you're into that content subscribe and check out other videos on the channel but i want to point you in this direction because right now even the NYT reporter, and this is a really good question, by the way, I feel like all of you have that question. I got it too. Uh, project, is it Project Bluebeam? Let me know your thoughts. And for rookies, for the newbies, Project Bluebeam is, is, is essentially a conspiracy that has been ongoing for years and years that is all about a fake alien invasion. So I don't know if that's uh, legit or not, oh, man. Shit. But oh, shit. NYT reporter asks, have aliens or ET been ruled out? Very good question. Norad commander, however, says that I haven't ruled out anything. Roll it. Hi, thanks, Pat, and thanks for doing this. This is for General Van Herc. Uh, because you still haven't been able to tell us what these things are that we are shooting out of the sky, uh, that raises the question, um, have you ruled out aliens or extraterrestrials? And if so, why? Because that is what everyone is asking us right now. That, that's a genuine question and one of the biggest, two biggest questions ever are uh, what happens after death and are we alone in the universe or not. I believe this is the time. I really hope we, we get to find out that this is aliens guys because uh, listen man, I really want to be finding out, I really want to be seeing an alien being before I die, okay? Uh, I hope, I hope they're not hostile first of all, that's the only way I want to see them, okay? And thanks for the question, Helene. I'll let the intel community and the uh, counterintelligence community figure that out. I haven't ruled out anything uh, at this point. We continue to assess uh, every threat or potential threat unknown that approaches North America uh, with an attempt to identify it. Helene Cooper, New York. And, and the situation here is that they shot down another UFO. Check this. U.S. officials have confirmed to ABC News that another high-altitude object was shot down Sunday afternoon over Lake Huron, according to one official. It was apparently an octagon-shaped UFO this time that was around 20,000 feet. First, uh, China, China number one, Chinese balloon, Chinese balloon. Uh, that was February 4th. It was 60,000 feet that they shot down. We saw the wreckage, they shared photos. But two days ago, I believe, at this point, they shot one around Alaska, then another one in Canada yesterday. And, and Justin Trudeau, through the queue, uh, says that he spoke with Sleepy, uh, Sleepy Joe. And they are trying to analyze and recover. Analyzing, right? Analyzing. It's been two days, man. Show us the pictures. They're probably going to alter the images. They're not going to tell us the truth. Let, let's be real or maybe this is really project blue beam and they're setting us uh setting uh, setting us up and maybe that's uh, they're gonna show everything we're gonna find out for sure it was shot down by a u.s military aircraft today's incident comes one day after another unidentified object was shot down on saturday according to officials this one over the yukon in canada the object first that was yesterday and today they shot it around they will talk about detected it detected friday night canadian and u.s planes scrambling to scope it out President Biden speaking to Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, giving the green light for a U.S. F-22 fighter jet to take the shot. Trudeau the, the, sus, the sus thing here is that, and I need your thoughts on this one, the sus part here is that they never have shot down UFOs before. Maybe accidentally, maybe once or twice here, but they never really publicly talked about it. And we have seen so many uh, UFOs in the skies. Why all of a the sudden they're shooting them down, right? That's a, that's a really good question as well. So thanking Why? the long-standing no. partnership that monitors the sky and the sea, writing... Ladies and gentlemen, check this video out. Apparently, UFO was caught around moon area. They don't want you seeing that stuff. And there was another UFO. Uh, click on the video on the left because this UFO was siphoning energy from the sun. Check these videos out, guys. They don't want you seeing that stuff. And I will see you right